it is bright and early in the morning here in Calgary, about 7.30 a.m. and I am getting ready to go out to do some fly fishing. I'm so excited. I've grown up doing a lot of fishing in my life, but I've never done fly fishing. So this is my first time for that. I'm going with a company called Drift Out West. In The company is indigenous owned. It's owned by a gentleman named Quinn. Right now he's prepping the boat and we are getting ready to go out. It's gonna be a stunning day and just a fun little adventure. This is something that I didn't know you could do in Calgary actually, so it's kind of exciting to find out that this is an excursion you can do in the city. It's gonna be great. I'm uh, Cree, Plains Cree. I'm from uh, Red Desert Nation. In Saskatchewan. The first time I went fly fishing, I was about 16 years old. I was in high school. I was going to a private school in Saskatchewan and uh, had a couple of friends that fly fished a little bit. And so they said they're. I I saw them leaving. I asked them where they're going. And I go, Oh, we're going to go fly fishing. I was like, Oh, all right. Can I come? So they invited me. Went along, and it was actually went to a, a dugout, and it was a stock dugout. Um, not very big, but big enough that you couldn't cast right across it. Um, and yeah, we started catching these trout right on top with dry flies. And ever since then, I've just been hooked. And yeah, it's it's pretty fun. I don't think I'll ever stop. Thank you. The day started off with some shoreside lessons to get us on our game. <laughs> So I hold it like this, I take the fly line, and I put it in the crease of my index finger, and that acts as a tension or a drag if I got lots of lines like this. Alright, so, um, so I hold it like that, and then I hold the line in my other hand, so that controls what's kind of dangling down. And this would be why we're practicing on the shore. It takes a little bit to get the hang of it, but let's not forget it's also very early in the morning. Holding a camera and trying to practice my fly fishing. Yeah, a little difficult, but multitasking. There's a fish on the end of my line. This is going to be interesting. <laughs> what you want to do is call the mend. So you'll hear me say mend your line. All you do is just pick up, lay upstream, point back at your indicator. Okay. So, see, it's oh, yes. Pole, pick it up, point at it. Just like that. So mend your line, go. And point back at it. So, that, in some places that'll happen a lot where you have to do that a lot and in other places it'll just be super straight really nice and you don't even have to worry about it so we're going to be fishing for rainbows brown trout and there's also white fish in here and there's jackfish okay. we got suckers um, we got bourbon wow yeah there's, a, there's and what's the heaviest fish you would catch on a rod like this um so you could probably catch a Probably like a 10 pound. Really? Yeah. That would be difficult. It would it'd be pretty heavy, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so that's why, you know, you right. leave it on your arm and it'll help. Um, and be careful you don't get the rope burn or the, the, the line, line burn. burn. Yeah, yeah. so when you, sometimes if you, when you're fishing, if you, uh, if you hook up with the fish and you set, and the fish feels that set, it'll run really fast and you've got too much tension, you'll get a line burn from the fish. Really? Burn. Crazy. Okay. But, I'm gonna try not to. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so here's what our the worms look like. There's a variety of worms. Right there. Oh wow. So I got purple, pink. <laughs> and what fish like those? All fish. All fish? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Pretty wow. much. Everything in the bowl here really likes these colors. We got foam flies. So here's some grasshoppers. These are all grasshopper patterns. And then these are all stone fly patterns, beetle patterns. Well, 
we're officially out on the water. It's getting exciting. It's definitely a new experience for me, but yeah, this is awesome because like I said, I've done fishing before, just never fly fishing. So I'm learning a whole bunch of new stuff and I'm lucky because we have the amazing guide. Hi, Quinn. Hi. How long have you owned this company for? Um, I started the company in about 2007. How long have you been fly fishing for? <laughs> 30, 30 some odd years. Nice. Yeah, yeah. I'm excited about today. Yeah, it should be fun. <laughs> it's gonna be great. And we are also here with another guest and her name is Dominique. She is the managing editor of Avenue Magazine here in Calgary. Hi, Dominique. Hi. How are you doing? Good. And is this your first time on fly fishing? Yes, I've never been fly fishing before. How are you feeling so far? Good, yeah, yeah. Quinn's a great guy. Yes. I'm learning lots. Awesome, yeah, so let's see if we catch a fish today. Yeah, I <laughs> Don't I got into it kind of, kind of by accident. A good friend of mine, he, um, he started fly, we both started fly fishing together. He bought a boat, we started float fishing on the boat. Then he decided one year that he was going to start his business. And then he asked me to cover for him a couple of times because he's a school teacher. So while he was still teaching, I would, I would cover his trips that he got booked for him. Strip a little more. I got a rainbow trout and he was actually kind of fun to reel in. I mean, yeah, it wasn't as hard as I thought it was going to be, but he put up a good little jumping fight there. So now we just release him back into the wild of the Bow River because you don't actually keep fish here. They have to be released. That is the law. So this is just sport fishing. All right. Standing post for balance, best invention ever. I'm casting this way? Yep, we're gonna cast that way, yeah. Still trying to get the hang of it, one cast at a time. So I'm gonna start moving that stuff. Quinn would actually continually direct us on which side of the boat that we were supposed to cast on, so we would go back and forth between left side casting and right side casting. So my line just got stuck on the bottom. That is all I have left on there. I lost the other ones. <laughs> Replacing the ones that got stuck. Are you changing it to a different type? Uh, yeah, oh. so um, I'm gonna put a leech back on. You, That's the one you caught that other fish with, so we're gonna keep that on. But I'm gonna change out the bottom one, put on a okay. little smaller fly. How are you doing back there, Dominique? I'm great. <laughs> Did you get some bites then, Dominique? Yes. You did. Oh, nice. What's the uh, what's the term when you have to go up again? Like the set. Set. I'm yeah. Not, I'm not. I need to be a stronger setter. Stronger setter. Yeah. I'm pretty sure I have to do the same. <laughs> yeah. It's just, that's it's it's um it takes a little bit to get to um recognize what a strike is. Okay. And so like. If it trying to identify that little movement, yep, can be tricky. Tricky and uh, I don't know, we just takes getting used to. It does. It just takes a little bit of time. Once you do start hooking up and do two, three hookups, and you're like, oh, I know what to look for now. 
passionate about fly fishing because it's uh, kind of like an art that, that you learn to do on top on the water. I really like it a lot, <laughs> just because it's what what you have to do. So you're catching fish on these little tiny flies, and, and uh, yeah, it's not it's not as easy as some people think it is. Quinn was just saying that this is a white fish that I caught this time. So the first one was a rainbow trout, second one, white fish. Yeah, you can use cool pans. Ah, <laughs> 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 oh, there he is. And then you can just drop it in the water. I got him, my little fella. <laughs> nice one. Thank you, awesome. uh, I just want them to experience the water. So the water for indigenous people is sacred. It's, it's life for us. Um, and there's a connectedness between the water and all living things. Without water, you can't live very long without it. Um, and it's in everything. It's in the air. It's in our blood. It's in our brains. It's in all the animals we eat. It's in the plants we eat. And so, yeah, it's uh, one of the things that I think we just need to show respect to the water. And, uh, yeah, I just want to... Show the people that I take out what the water, how important it really is. It is snack time on the boat now, and Quinn just pulled out the most amazing snacks for us. We got some watermelon here, nice and cut up fresh watermelon, and we got a snackle box. <laughs> Check that out. That is so cool. This is a piece of elk sausage right here, and an interesting fact is that Quinn hunted and caught this elk on his own. He took it to a professional butcher and then had it made into this little pepperoni. And it is very, very tasty. It's pretty hard to beat a snackle box picnic while floating down the river. Dominique finally caught a fish. It was awesome. It was short lived because, oh, no. oh there he is. He's like, oh my gosh, wow. So he broke the line, did he? Yeah, he broke, he broke off and, uh, yeah. Does that mean he has a... I know, I was just thinking that. Yeah, and it'll, it'll probably, so it's just a little tiny barb on it, and that barb will eventually just rust, and then the, the flies will fall. Okay, so it won't be there for his whole fish life. No. Okay. Well, good try though, that was awesome. <laughs> it was unexpected because we were busy talking, and that's why we weren't focused. <laughs> I really enjoy being with guests when they catch fish because it's like I'm catching fish too and it's just as fun for me as it is for them like to see them all happy and excited about catching a fish yeah it's, it's really good is not your friend when you're fly fishing. Now it is a bit windy, so it makes the line go not where you want it to go and not as far as you want it to go. So it definitely, yeah, makes a little damper in the sport. But aside from that, fly fishing is awesome. And the fact that you can come out in Calgary and have a tour down the Bow River and have an amazing guide, can't go wrong, guys. I just want to say a huge thank you to Tourism Calgary for setting this up and a very big thank you to Quinn for being such an amazing guide. And I'm gonna link his website down below because you guys need to go out on an adventure with him. It's one you're not gonna soon forget. So yes, there's the boat back on land. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye. Bye now. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>